start off by saying that I wish that this was my current vehicle setup in terms of daily drivers. Um, but sadly, this is not mine. This is just a press car. But you guys know how much I love my German muscle cars. Um, and I'm going to show you why this new S-Class is by far my favorite S-Class of all time. So let me introduce you to the brand new S580 4Matic, which is the all-wheel drive version from Mercedes-Benz. Um, just to go ahead and say, obviously this is not a muscle car, in the, even in a German sense, this is more of like the, the regular uh, you know, S-Class. This isn't a 63, it's not a 65, but uh, just making a point that you guys know that I love like my AMGs and M-Series, uh, you know, German muscle cars. But brand new styling uh, for the new year, uh, the S-Class. This is the S580, which it is the uh, bi-turbo 4-liter V8 under the hood. It's all-wheel drive. And I just, I love the styling of this car. A lot of people say that the styling is very, very downplayed. It's very, it's too smooth. It's not, it's not aggressive at all. But the thing about it is, since this is not an, it's not an AMG line, it's not a 63 or a 65, it's not made to be, it's not supposed to be aggressive in terms of the appearance on the outside. It's supposed to look sleek. It's supposed to look elegant. And I think that Mercedes did a great job of that. Uh, it's very minimal. There's not a lot going on the exterior, and I like that about the car. Um, I don't know what to say. The, the tail lights now are pretty funky. It's kind of like this teardrop style, and then it runs, has the chrome piece that runs along the back. You got a slight little diffuser in the, on the on the bumper. You can see it. The thing I hate, though, though, is these tips are fake. These valences, the tips are in there. The valences are fake. They look good, but they're not real. Very Tesla-like, Aston Martin-like. You hit the unlock button, the door handles pop out, and they're electronic. We'll start off in the back seat. You've got power visors on the on the on each door in the back, and you have your controls that control the passenger side along with this side that you're on, and it also has controls for the moon roof for the passengers in the back. You've got these diamond quilted seats in the back which are absolutely gorgeous you have a pull down right here with storage and cup holders back seat clearly being that it's an s-class oh man this is the first time i've sat in these back seats and they are incredibly comfortable ambient lighting that runs along the door now what's interesting though is this piece right here is actually like a little screen it's hard to describe. I don't know. It's like it's it's built into the door and it's like a screen uh, that has the lighting. And you've got ambient lighting that runs along underneath here. You got the Burmeister sound system, of course. Just ample leg room, ample head room. You guys know I've told y'all a million times I'm 5'10, so this is plenty of room for somebody like myself. Somebody even six foot plus would have plenty of room back here. One thing that's pretty neat. Um, about these vents and how they work normally you have like a slider that closes off the circulation from the vents well in the mercedes in this particular mercedes you have this button right here and there's three lit up lights and as you push them it reduces the amount of air that comes through the vents so it's three down to obviously zero which would restrict airflow so i thought that was pretty cool but aside from that that's pretty much what's going on in the back seat so a little bit more about the exterior the wheel setup you have a staggered wheel tire setup this is have the AMG wheels, 255, 35, 21 in the front, and then a 285, 30, 21 in the rear. You've got, obviously, these massive drilled rotors, beautiful wheels. And stepping inside, in the front, is where it just is absolutely beautiful. So, along the door, you've got your power seat adjustments, which are heated and cooled, and three memory seating settings. Um, you have your dials for your headlights over here, which on the door, which is interesting, but massive quilted diamond quilted seats with the pillow headrests. Soft closed doors, as you'd expect in an S class Mercedes logo. It didn't do the little like hum. There's usually a hum 
that happens when you open the door um, but I guess because I had already unlocked it it didn't do it but you have the ambient lighting that runs along the entire dashboard on the doors underneath the door sill underneath the dash the thing I love most about this interior is just how minimalistic it is they didn't go over the top there's not a whole lot going on really you have the main screen you have the head unit and that's it there's hardly any actual buttons hard press buttons now with that being that that way I will not lie the first time when I got into this car it overwhelmed me with having to figure out how to get it all set up because there were hard no hard buttons I had to go through all the menus and whatever else so this car actually intimidated me with all the gadgetry and tech that it has but you open up here you have wireless charging pad two cup holders center console cup I mean a glove box obviously you start up the car and you got the digital display right here that's configurable and then this new screen right here which is um, Android Auto Apple CarPlay wireless obviously you have your air controls you have your parking camera all the different camera angles you have the front camera rear camera, side mirrors, all the stuff like that, which is pretty neat. It is a 3D display, so when you go to navigation, this is in 3D, which is pretty neat. The head unit is also in 3D. It's hard to show you, but those flashing lights are actually the infrared cameras that watch your eyes when the car, when you're in cruise control, this car actually will actively steer for you. So that's pretty cool. But if you can see what I'm talking about with these vents, see it's lit up three three lights. When you click it, they go down. And then obviously once they're all off, the vents are closed. So I thought that was pretty cool. But by far the coolest feature of the interior in this car that I found is this LED strip is obviously configurable. You can change the lighting, the ambient lighting in the car. But when you change the temperature in the car, it does an animation based on you whether you go cooler or hotter. So watch this. As I go touch the button down, it does a blue strip that goes across. Watch it again. It does this little blue strip. Now when you change the temperature to you know, go up, it does a red line. And it goes all along the door. So watch it again. I think that's pretty neat. I don't know. I'm a nerd like that with that kind of stuff. But... Again, I just like how minimal the interior is. It's straight to the point. It's very elegant. You have also you have some storage space behind the, the screen right here. So I just saw this in the, in the glove box, which is pretty cool. This car also has a fingerprint and facial recognition. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the movie Transporter with Jason Statham, and he had that Audi A8. I don't know if that was a factory thing back then, but the fact that that is available now is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if it's one of those things where it keeps you from starting the car unless it recognizes you or you authenticate it, but I would imagine that would be the point. So that's a pretty cool feature. But pretty standard in these Mercedes is the uh, air purification. It's like actually like a little cologne uh, canister right here that will inject into the air, you know, the air system of the car to help you know relax you and soothe you as you drive. They've had that in these Mercedes for a long time. I've always thought that's pretty cool. Of course, like always, here's the price breakdown on this car 2021 s580 suggested retail price is one hundred sixteen thousand dollars, and there's not many options included in this one but um you have the obviously the four liter bi turbo uh 496 horsepower 516 pound feet of torque through the nine speed with the air suspension um this thing floats down the road guys like it is one of the smoothest cars i've ever driven even with the smaller sidewall tires this thing just floats down the road and absorbs the road really well so the, the color of the car is actually called cirrus silver with the black napa leather and then the the accented wood trim is called slate high gloss poplar wood um, so when you start getting into the options uh the 21 inch amg wheels are about a two thousand dollar option the uh the one other thing that i didn't mention on the outside which i'll show a video of here after is the rear axle steering it actually just, it's, it steers up to four and a half degrees at low speed in like parking lot scenarios. And it makes turning this thing incredibly easier. 
since it's such a long vehicle. So that's a $1,300 option. The heated steering wheel is 250. The night package, uh, 400. And then the uh, 3D technology with the augmented reality heads-up display is probably one of the more expensive, which is 3,000. And then the AMG uh, appearance package is about $4,300, which brings your total to right under $130,000 for this S-Class. Um, obviously, we know that you know the big body Mercedes have always been expensive uh, as time go has gone on obviously technology has improved more things have been included in this in these cars uh, the, the multiple ways the seats massage and adjust the air suspension the engine um, the rear steering all of those things have obviously included in uh, making the price a little bit higher than what it could used to be but uh, man like this is this is it this is what i would own if i could afford it as a daily driver this car has enough power to get out of its own way it sounds good when you when you want to get on it you'll hear the video in the beginning of me doing a little little run from a dead stop um, it's not the fastest thing in the world because it's not an actual amg but it does do the job when you need to pass somebody like rolling power is actually really impressive uh being that it's the bi-turbo in like the inboard v uh turbo setup which these Mercedes engines are known for the turbo lag is very minimal um, which is awesome because the power there's no it's not many, there's not much piping that has to go through to get that power like that that obviously that forced induction into the heads um, you can read up on that if you want but I love this thing the quality of it's obviously phenomenal it's a Mercedes it's it's pretty high quality um, so yeah I'm gonna pop the hood show y'all what it looks like under the hood it's not much because it's a lot of plastic but I'll show you under the hood do a do a little rev for you and uh, yeah that's pretty much my review on the S class uh, again I would love to own one of these at some point this has been one of my dream cars for a long time and uh, I appreciate you guys watching this if you get to this point in the video let me know would you rather take a new S class or a new 7 series or a Lexus LS or a uh, Audi, uh, you know, A8. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys. Uh, enjoy this uh, little rev, whatever, to end this video. Talk to y'all later.